Okay. Let's see here. Swing, 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 swing. Swing, 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 swing. Swing, swing, swing. Alright, that should be good. Anyways, basically what this is about is I found what is quite possibly one of the best home areas that I've ever discovered in Minecraft. Uh, first off, this is a modded Minecraft. This is Feed the Beast Ultimate Pack 1.4.7 because they still haven't updated. And yeah, let's get started. So, pretty much my story begins with this. I came across this shrouded in darkness and covered in monsters, and I thought this this would be the perfect place to build a base. It's a nice little hollowed out area in what I call the Appalachian Mountains. It's actually the extreme hills, but whatever. Oh, hello there, skeleton. Anyways, I figured this would be a good spot to make a base, and boy was I right. Where do you go? Yeah, must have buggered off. Oh well. Anyways, this is my humble home for the moment. Because I've been spending most of my time lighting up the area and trying to avoid massive creeper spawns. Oh, hi, Skelly. I plan to use this area as some kind of storage. And I'm going to make that out of stone. I might just make the whole house out of stone as well. Just to protect it from creepers and such. There's a couple of caves around already, one right behind here, that goes down to at least a decent level, but I really haven't explored it yet because, like I said, I've been lighting up the area. Ow. Mm. Hold on a second. Oh. oh, boy, did my sword pick a bad time to break. One second, folks. Oh crap, did I lose all my cobble? Guess I did. Wonderful. Oh well. This area is lit up enough that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anyways, we have this little area over here, starting with this cave, which in reality is just one of many, many interconnecting tunnels that, in the big picture, seem really convoluted, but really all you have to do is just press forward enough for a long enough time and you will find an exit that you'll be able to recognize. Or at least I will, because I've been spending the past few hours around here getting everything lit but down there in that in the bottom of that uh i guess funnel shaped area is an, another major cave i plan to explore at some point up here we have large area that i don't know it might be good for like a, a spire Tower, or some such. Ooh, hello. I'll get to that later. Some more areas of flatland with an obsidian pillar out in the west. Or, yeah, that is the west. And more outcroppings with sheep everywhere. So I shouldn't have a problem for finding wool. We have a nice little giant tree forest. I really don't know what they are yet. I haven't messed with them that much. Broken world. And then we have what I consider to be like the second, uh, I guess you could say part or major, oops, major part of this. We have an outdoorsy area. 
I plan to do something with. Another major cave that I have yet to explore. And then an indoorsy area that I plan to do something with. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I want to make it epic because I'm usually really boring about uh, my living area because I get too wrapped up in um, the other parts of the game, like exploring and for the mods, magic. I think this is our last major cave. It splits off well, so should provide twice the exploration. And now we end up right back here. So yeah, not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. But I want it to be epic. This is going to be a first for me. But yeah, that's my house, that's my base, and that's the end of this video.